It's full-blown summer in the last frontier, and the open road is calling. The rivers are flowing, the salmon are running, and we're off on our next adventure. Look at that song. Nice one, huh? Yay! We got dinner. We've been tied down at our property lately working on projects, but we're all packed up for a multi-day trip targeting different species of fish with the goal of ending at the Copper River for our yearly supply of salmon. That is a big fish. Beautiful vistas, wildlife abound, and the midnight sun. Let's go fishing. The rain is a little bigger. They're, they're going with the rain. We have arrived at our first fishing spot of this trip and we are on the side of the highway up here. And believe it or not, there's great fishing on some of these streams. My goal for the trip is actually to catch and eat an Arctic grayling. And they like these little streams, so we'll see if we can get one. I got four pound test on this, nice thin line. Hold hands across the road. <laughs> Kind of interesting thing about this creek is we've driven through this area of Alaska when it was like 40 below, really cold. For some reason, this doesn't freeze. It's like the craziest thing. Look at that, nice deep hole. There's grayling in there. It's running really clear right now. The water's, look down there how pretty it is. Oh, dang it. Got my my foot right already. That's like eight feet deep right there. Ooh. Hey Eric, there's a pool right here. So those are bluebells. Eric and I used to pick those. You can eat them fresh. Um, you can also make tea out of them, but they do not taste that good in teas. We refrain from doing that. I did bring this nifty little book, and I really like this book. I have a, f I have two. I have another one that's really good, but this one actually identifies flowers and plants by the color and the region, which is really helpful. I've actually been able to find a lot of different plants that I didn't really know about. I mean, these grayling, they bite. They either bite or they don't bite what you have, right? Just do a jig head, and I'm gonna try that first spot. The deep hole. That deep hole. Yeah, I don't think we should venture too far because we don't have, obviously this is the time of the year for other, other animals to be out as well, right? Let's see if they like that, right? Nice size grayling right there. It's chasing about, it? It's not about that big, it's right there, I can still see it. It's in the deep then, huh? Yeah, it chased it all the way up. That's awesome, you saw one. I know there's grayling in there, he almost went for it. throw an extra weight on there because it's not very heavy. Uh, go from this side maybe. What oh, do you hear that? Let's get to the chopta. There's a helicopter. He's going right over us. Okay. What next jig do you have on? Next spot. Now we're fishing an actual river. I got the dark jig on. And then I got the neon green one with me. It's a jinx. There's a major helicopter flying over right now. What's a major helicopter? All right, I got the black one on right here. I'm gonna okay. give that one a go. I got an extra weight to keep her down. Yeah, that's and if nice. that one doesn't work, I'll try this one. Neon green with a little bit of pink. It's a little cloudy, but. Too, then, huh? I don't know. We'll see. He's a little high. 
It is a little high still, huh? Yeah. Looks a little dirty, but let's see. Not as dirty. No. Okay. See that with a little eddy. Beaver built this right here. Oh yeah. And like flooded the road and flooded this whole pond. Um, There's no fish in it? No, I tried it. Unfortunately the water's just really high moving, right now, huh? Moving fast. Well no action yet and these past few creeks that we've been trying, I don't know if it's snow melt off or what, but they're really high, they're moving fast and they're pretty murky. So we're heading into the Wrangell San Elias National Forest and we're gonna try our luck there. It's supposed to be a bunch of good fishing spots. Ready? Ready. I was looking forward to that spot, but that was a bust. It's some sort of trail, right? Yeah. Human or animal, we don't know. I think it's worth it. I don't think you're going to get stuck if you walk careful. I guess my feet are already wet. Oh, yeah. You should probably take your shoes off, fine. Well, they're, still, they're wet now, so I'm just going for it. So I found an example of woolly louse wart. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it. Um, it's a super cool plant. I found it a few years ago um, up in the mountains and we're down in like a bog land right now. So it's very interesting to me to see it down here. It's kind of unique about Alaska as you can find these plants and pretty much throughout the, the whole state in different regions where it's a little bit like different, you know, from wet to dry, but they usually, I thought they usually grow like really, really high up in like dry alpine type terrain. I have hoops, but I can dry these off. Are they wet? Oh yeah, you're wet. Right? They well, have coming pink, for my lure. They have pink bellies. Yeah. Nice yeah, I was spot. looking at oh there's three. You spot I see another one back there. I was just thinking they may they probably hey, like that. Panic, get over here. Panic. Personally, I go for a real small jig. I have a little small one right here I could put on. That's so cool. I was looking at that and I was thinking that it was kind of seemed like a nice pool. Well we're at this little tiny creek and I'm walking up seeing if I can find any fish. There's supposed to be Dolly Varden in here, and Ariel just found three of them sitting over there. They're probably eight or nine inches long. And I'm gonna switch to a smaller little jig here, see if we can get anything to bite. That's my little worm. All right, where's he at? He likes that better than the flies, so that means yeah. he likes a little jig. There we go. You got one! Look at the beautiful spots on it. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yes, we got one. We broke the ice, people. That's a beautiful Dolly Varden. That's your first Dolly Varden. I've caught Dolly Varden ice fishing. Not a wild one, though. That was so cool, man. He nailed it. He got it. Yeah. Oh, they're biting me all over. We yeah, gotta go. Really we gotta go to the next one. There's no mosquitoes at the next spot. What is going on, man? What? what? Be something here. Look at how peaceful it is. Oh, right on the shore. Dang it. They're not just buzzing you, they're like attacking. No, really, it looks vicious. I know this park's supposed to get really bad. Sitting right there? Here, don't point, don't point to them because I Yeah, can't they're dollies. See. They're dollies. Really? Watch my cast. Right there. They're dolly riding. Yep. That would probably be a nice one. Yeah, I think 
really like this one. That's the one this one. Or was that? This could be a bird box. Oh, these are sick. Are you gonna use that? Uh, I'm there. I'm eyeballing them. I'm eyeballing this one. Ooh, nice. Little uh, meps and. Oh, really got. It's yeah, there's like the a worst. storm coming in. I'm sorry. I just need to. I need to show you what you're working with before you make your decisions. I feel like that'll really. No. I already know what I got. One eighteenth of an ounce. Well, we've done a little bit over half of this road that runs through the park and the preserve. Um, the plan was just kind of mosey on through and get to the end of it, whether that's today or tomorrow morning. Um, we just keep making like little pit stops. There was one lake we just passed. We couldn't find a trail down to it. So this seems like a pretty promising lake. I think it has Arctic grayling and burbot in it. We've got some choices to make for lures. There's there's a lot of uh, different ones we can pick through. Alaska is a huge state, so the regulations just vary all over. And this particular area we're in, it actually has different rules depending upon where you're at and then also whether you're in like flowing waters or you're in a lake or a pond and this is considered a lake we're making some coffee and we're eating some dinner and then we're gonna head down there okay well let's wait a couple minutes see if it passes it's, it's really uh, wet out there <laughs> it's getting thicker i think well if it doesn't stop in a couple minutes we'll go down there and take a couple casts i think they like to bite when it's raining mm. you might get a little wet but the box for now. Oh yeah, you have rubber boots. I don't. Oh, you didn't bring rubber boots? Oh. Did you see oh, that? Oh yeah. That was a big fish. That that's was a great one. Oh no, 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 that's not a duck. Look, it's a beaver. It's a beaver. Okay guys, looks like we're having some major grayling jumpage out here after this rain. Ariel just had a bite, which is pretty cool. I'm still hoping for a grayling tonight. Have a uh, second dinner. Oh, you got a weed on that one. Yeah, I got a weed oh, on that's that a nice, one. Oh, that's a stick. That is the world's smallest fish. The world's, is that? Oh my gosh. He's a baby. That is a grayling though. He's a baby grayling. <laughs> is that a good dinner? No. <laughs> Caught a grayling. There you go, guy. Golden orange. Eric, he swims. They swim? Do you have that one? That's huge. No! He got off. That was my fish. I got one. Oh, that's a that's a grayling. That's a big one. That's a big one. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That's a big grayling. That's the biggest grayling. Uh, probably the biggest one I've ever caught. You should probably just dispatch a hunter off. Fold this little fin. It's a small one. Yeah, it's a small fin, but that's a big fish. Yeah, it's, that's remarkably big. It's oh my gosh. Inches. That's dinner right there. This is awesome. That's huge. That's a big size meal right there. That's beautiful. Thanks for your knife. Keeps losing attention. No, not that big. Oh, he got off. Grab him, Meryl. I'm gonna probably put him back. But, oh, okay, they're real, they're real slippery. My first fish, my first grayling. It's nice a beauty. Fish. Oh yeah, look at that thing. Watch him go back right now. Watch him go back on this channel. A bull. What's a little bull doing? Oh, he's, a oh, he's quick. Where'd that? It's a little bigger. They're, they're going with the rain. Oh, this is a keeper. Oh, that's a tank. That's a keeper. He's that's, gonna get off. Oh my gosh, that's dinner. How do I? No! I got us a com compadre, a, a, a companion? companion. I got us a companion. Oh my gosh, what a beauty. That one's, oh, look at oh. the colors on that one. This one's really similar. Maybe hear more gold? But big, good job, Errol. You're nailing them out here. This is really fun. Isn't that fun? Yeah, but it's a little wet. Let's see this one. Ooh, look at that, that's pretty. Let's, let's bring her in. Nice one. So how bad is it in there? Not bad at all. Okay, she's trying to go. There she goes. This is so much fun. Can I try your spoon one? Yes. Nice. It's oh, this is. A That's a nice one. Good size. It's so pretty. Okay, we found the, the lure they like, right? They like the Castmaster. Red and gold. 
They're like the red and gold Castmaster. Oh, he didn't bite it too bad. Look at that. Okay. He's gonna go quick. He's got a lot of stamina. There it goes. Look at the muskrat right in front of me. <laughs> Did you see him? I got a fish. I think we see that, hun. Nice one. That's a long one. This is beautiful, Eric. That's such a beautiful fish. That's not the same as any of the fish we caught. It's a different one. Yeah, for sure. All right, well, it's not super late, but it's clearly raining. Um, we have a lot of cleaning up to do. We gotta get the fish processed, and then we wanna make dinner and figure out where we're probably camping for the night. We were probably gonna kinda like go a lot further, but I don't, I don't really know. It would have to stop raining for us to do that. Yeah, maybe we'll drive a little further and... Find a camping spot? Something, yeah. Okay. Two nice, clean. Yeah. Look at that. Dinner. Those are beasts. Yeah, they're both females. Two female fish. I think we need to walk down further. Stop raining. snow back here. If you saw the hugest bear ever right there, it'd look tiny. Got a nice riverside site right here. We pulled in the truck and uh, we're gonna cook up some fish and we'll see where it leads us. Oh man, is the sun going away? Have we used that before? Yeah. Oh, I can't remember. This thing did this to me last time. Oh, it's leaking. Here. Yeah, I know. It's not gonna blow up, is it? I don't think so. That fish is barely gonna fit in there. I know, but it'll fit. Whoa, look at the purple. Ah, I wonder how this is gonna taste. <laughs> okay, I just tried like a nibble, because not all of it's done. Beautiful white meat. Thank you. What's your take on that? I don't want to say borderline seafood, but you know when you eat like a really good piece of seafood and it's so succulent? Yeah. That's about a thousand times better than that. Oh, man. It's good. Oh, I think it's fine. I think this is super moist. Yeah. That's really good. Hey, I would think this would be really good really cooked on the salad. No? We're going tomorrow for lunch. On the salad. Or like tacos or something. But yeah, it would be good on a salad. Yeah, I, I like, like it. I like it better than rainbow trout. I like it a lot better than rainbow trout. I don't know why. Look at that. It does. It just has a different. Not it's a lot really, of bones either. It's super plain. It is a plain. Is the skin, fish. dude? It's moist. Do you need something, dude? Yeah, here already ate dinner. Can I? He's getting bit. Getting them. Of course, he's getting bad. Everyone's getting bad. Oh, this is insane back That's here. That's the airstrip. How cool oh, is there's that? an airplane back here. Look at those caribou racks.
We made it to the end of the line. It's about 40 miles back and there's a lot of history in this area, but we mainly came for fishing. We just wanted to kind of explore it and check it out for the future. Um, we had to turn around. There is one mine you can explore. All the mines back there, I believe, are not active anymore, but we don't feel comfortable with our trailer. It was already pretty rough getting back to this point. It took a long time. A lot of stream crossings, a lot of big rocks, um, probably to help with the erosion. It seems like the water rises a lot with all the snow melt here. That's a volcano, well, non-active volcano over there. And then there is also, Wrangell is an active volcano in the park, which is pretty cool. There's a few lodges out here. There was one that we just turned around at. They have an airstrip out there. I think we're gonna head back down and find a place to sleep for the night. The drive has been amazing so far. such a hard time now. Made it through earlier. Well, we're kind of going uphill now, it looks like. Oh, she didn't like that either. She ain't ripping her. She ain't ripping. Dragging us. Come on. She's got it. Come on. Come on. She's got it. Okay. Okay. One brake light's not working. That's a little broken wire, but that's not bad. That probably happened before that whole crossing right there. <laughs> Don't you think? Man, that was rough. That other creek, too, we went through was harder on the way back. I see some splashes, but not as many as last night. Yeah. All right, that's the lure that Eric and I were using last night. Or, I don't know what time it was, but the fish were biting that. I don't know if it was the gold. They seemed to be responding to the gold better. Um, and Eric was thinking like, oh, maybe this cast master's too big. But it seemed like the bigger grayling were having no problem biting it. So Eric's trying to silver one this morning and it's not seeming to work. So we're gonna give this one a go. You didn't even try to go back, did you? Yeah, there you well, I guess we got lucky last night because we are not getting any bites this morning and that's all right. We're gonna go back to the truck, eat a bowl of cereal, and then we're taking off. Next stop, we don't know, but we'll see you when we get there.
we've been hopping around today, not doing too much fishing all that much. And um, we hopped over to another highway. We made it down to the Copper Basin first. We had anticipated to do some fishing on the Clutina and the Golcana, which are super silty rivers. They have sockeye and kings running in them. And they are tributaries to the Copper River, which we're going to be fishing a little bit later. Eric tried his hand at some flossing. He had one, but then it got off. So we don't have any fish to show for it. The rivers are running a little bit high right now. We just gotta go with what Alaska's given us and it's given us a lot of hot weather and a insane amount of mosquitoes. We don't complain about mosquitoes much, but there's been just like mosquitoes everywhere we go. So we can't escape them. We resorted back to some stream and creek fishing, maybe even lake, and we're just trying to fish for some more grayling. Is it yours or mine? All right, here's your little rooster. rooster tail. I'm gonna stick with a spoon for now, and I'll spring some extras. I like your bits. That's all I got. Shoes are still wet. Eric, this is granite. Yeah, cool. yeah look how sparkly it is. Roadside cooking again. Whoa. I'm gonna need to cut them in half and wash them up real quick. Where can I cut this little bugger in half? On the ice Let's cook some more grayling. Usually when we go out on trips, we like to bring our rocket stove with us, but, um, Honestly, fire danger is like up right now and it's really big and I didn't feel like bringing any firewood on this trip. So this is a little stove I have. It's really old. One of my friends gave it to me. It's an MSR white gas stove. I actually keep this in our snow machine kit so you can uh, cook food or boil water if you need to. It works really good when it's really cold and it's awesome with this little tiny uh, cast iron skillet. We got a little salad to go with our fish. We've already been able to harvest some greens from the garden, which is pretty swell. And we're just waiting out right now because the grayling don't seem to be biting that well in the heat. And we're hoping that we'll get some nibbles as the evening progresses. I don't know what else I would have brought in. Because sandals, you get those sticks really hurt you. I don't know either. Grab right here if you want. Hey, that looks good. Hey, we need fish on it, huh? I'm gonna eat my fish on the side. Oh, okay. That's fine with me. That's what it is. It's super boggy, huh? Yeah. Yeah, you can't really. Looks like such a good spot, though. I know it does. Sixty-four degrees, nice and cool. Man, that feels good. Super windy. Windy. Like too windy, huh? Man, there's a lot of waves out here. That's the only thing I don't like about this fishing pole is it's too long to fit in the back of the truck. Yeah, it kind of makes it hard when you're on the go, huh? Yeah. Really excited you just want to go and stop. Where? Sure. Oh, 
Oh, I got one. Yep. Oh, it got off. I saw him. He wasn't huge, but he was real sparkly. That was a gray one. Yeah, it was. I saw it. Okay, so they bit a spinner, or a spoon. And he bit it in the middle of that channel. Yeah, that's what I was going for. I was going for that deep little... That's where they're in that middle. Deep little area. Oh, I got a fish. Nice. I got a fish. Come on, little guy. You just give him a little splash of roo? Scare him out there. Okay, we broke the ice for the day. We can't get a uh, skunk today, right? It's right, here. it's right there. We left the Denali Highway this morning. We've traveled uh, south. And we finally found our fishing spot. And we're gonna see if we can set up a couple rigs and we're going for king salmon. See what happens out here. This is a beautiful spot. We're using a pretty heavyweight pole and it's a shorter one. We're not gonna be casting out too far. This pole has 30 pound, actually this one has 40 pound braided line on there. And then we're gonna put a leader. I think I'm gonna set this one up for fishing on the bottom. So we're gonna do like a weight and we're gonna put some bait on there. Okay, you gotta use legit knots down here, right? We're gonna put a weight on here. We're gonna start with a four ounce weight. See if that holds it there. We got a slider for the weight so we can feel our bite. And then we've got a 30 pound leader and we've got a spinning glow at the end. And this is bobber material. So this is gonna float. That's gonna keep it at the bottom. It'll sit about a foot or two off the bottom. And then this actually spins in the current. That'll bring our fish in. We're gonna put our bait here on the end. Unfortunately, all we were able to get is not like fresh bait. It's more just like the package stuff you can buy on the shelf. Wrap that in a little baggie. And that's our setup. This stuff says guaranteed to catch big fish. <laughs> okay. That's... Let's cast that in and start fishing. We usually always have eggs at home in the freezer, but our freezer was just getting so full and I had done some major cleaning, so the eggs went to the chickens and then we needed them. It's not every day you get to go barefoot in Alaska, and today's really not a good day to do it, but I wanted to get to this beach behind us. Um, I was looking for relics, didn't really find anything except for tracks, and we just saw what we think was a salmon fry. Pretty cool. He was about that big and he was spotted. Been out here for close to three hours. We're both using bait, and I think everything's right. I mean, the river looks like it's come down. We seem to have a good spot, a good setup, but there's not that many of these fish running. If we don't catch one, it's not a big deal. And um, there's still time to maybe catch a king when we're dip netting. Oh, good, but not the rocks. Got it. What the heck was that, hun? Hey, you gonna let him steal your fish? You got one. He's albino. <laughs> He's what? He's albino. You see him? No, I didn't see him. Ah, oh, it's a beautiful fish. Okay, he's ours. Redemption, hard work and effort, and coming back to the spot we were the other day, we got ourselves 
Oh my gosh. <laughs> we got ourselves a beautiful sockeye, also known as a red salmon. And we're just gonna catch this one here because we're going somewhere else where we're gonna get a lot more fish. But we wanted some for our dinner. We're having stir fry, fresh salmon. It's been a while. Good job, hon. Give me that stick so I can beat him with it. You wanna try it all? So yeah, the creek's here relatively low and there's a lot of people parked out there. Yeah. Okay. How many hours old do you estimate? How many hours old is this? It's nine o'clock. We caught the fish at six o'clock. Three hour old. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna probably put us up on plates and then just put a uh, salmon on the side. Unfortunately, we don't have a big pan or a big plate, so. That's life. Whoa, you got a big ant though. I know, that's the one that was like taking off. They call me the dentist out there. <laughs> Good? Yeah. Thanks, son. Yum. See the crisp? It's been a long time. Turn that camera off. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. There's nothing like that. Did you see the fat? Oh, it's like so, it's like oily. It's good. That's pretty good, too. It's a Clutina River right now. I know. Thanks for checking. I think we found our spot, guys. I, I can't tell if we've fished this spot before. It's, a, it's kind of a blur every time we come here, but it looks like a good spot. Not too steep. There's a bunch of back eddies down there. And there was a boat in the water next to shore. Whew. And they were just nailing the fish. Apparently they got 70 fish in an hour. And there was uh, three guys fishing on that boat. So that is pretty good. We're gonna go down there and see if we can get some fish. Bye, dude. Have fun. If I roll, I'll fall into you, so I'll go second. Try to keep one hand handy if you can. I think I'm just gonna scoot on my butt. This one seems vaguely familiar. I feel like we checked this one a long time ago. Does it get steeper or less steep? Same, Same? okay. This is the river. There's a little cliff right here. Okay. You gotta go this way. If I can hand you the pod. Alright, you gotta jump down these rocks right here. Great spot, huh? Look at that back eddy. I know. And you can also go that way. So if other people want to come down, they could go there as well. Ooh.
it's super dusty, if you couldn't already tell, and the mosquitoes are quite a bit better down here. I mean, I think they're a little bit better. Seems like they're kind of acting up right now. But we got to a spot, so that's pretty cool. Look, those people are processing those. Those people are nailing them over there. I keep uh, they are. Maybe they're right on that side of the river more. There's a lot of getting organized to do. Um, we have scissors for clipping fins. We have beater sticks, we call them, for bopping the fish on the head um, and dispatching them. We have the net that Eric's assembling. Lots of rope for tying off. We each tie off and rope for keeping your fish organized because believe it or not, as you start to accumulate the fish, they can get real sloppy and you can kind of lose track at how many you have. We're not aiming to take that many this year. We don't need that many. Eric's already got that all set up down there and I think we're gonna do them in groups of five fish. Looks like everyone across from us is catching fish too. You can have charters take you across the river over there. So the only way over there is by boat. This side of the river where we're at, you can get here by hiking in or ATV. We've never done the charters, but it seems pretty cool. Mine can be more because I'm gonna be moving around. Is that good? That's not too loose. Thank you. Okay, go, go as far as you're gonna go. Wow, this is a really nice pool. You got like your pick of multiple back eddies. Last time it didn't work out good for anybody. Would you scratch your hands? I don't remember what happened, but my hands hurt really bad. Okay. Good luck. Let's see how this back eddy works out. Oh, you don't even have to really hold it there. It's it not might be a good spot, let's see. It's not surging or anything, but... There we go! 30 seconds. There we go! <laughs> Looks like yesterday's. Woo! Are you done? Okay. So let's clip these gills, bleed them out. We're gonna cut this anal fin. Right on. Do you wanna tie it up and see how yes. we wanna do it? And hook it on. Okay, that's a good idea. Okay. What do you think? I like it. Toss them in. Okay. Oh, I think I got one in there. Already? It's a surge already. Yeah, you got one. That's a nice one! Okay. It's only taking 10, 10 seconds. 10 it's seconds fun. in the water. There's a lot of That's fish. That's a big one. There's a lot of fish here. Oh my gosh, she's a He's big. Yeah, it's a hen. It's a hen. It's like too powerful. It's got a hooked nose, isn't it, male? Oh my gosh, that's a beautiful fish. That is huge. Let me see. That could be a male. It's got a torpedo body. That's huge. All right, Eric ran up to get something. Let's see if I can catch one. They seem to be coming in on each surge. So when the water, like, I don't know what it's doing, but we call it surges. And it uh, seems like he gets a fish on every one. I have a feeling this is going to go very fast today, but sometimes they do slow down. Are you kidding? Nice. It's a small one, but I got my first one. No. Don't do it. I was surging. I was like, oh, I'm going to stick it in mid surge. Oh, that's sick. He's small. I, but he's not too small to keep. He got munched on by a seal. Go so that way. You can get more net. Net was hooked on something. A little bit. I'll take care of him for you. That's a little bigger than my last one. Yeah, I'll do all that if you want. Okay, okay. You don't get dirty. Remember the eight, the fin? I tried to clip it actually out there because you'd be surprised. I get crazy slippery if you keep it. Got it. Right in the ice there. That's insane. How many fish are in this river? It bumped it. It lost one. It, no, it wasn't. It's fish. It bumped the tip. It's in the net. You got one, eh? Yeah, I think so. Barely, barely hit. Oh, he's got. Get that net in the water. That's a beauty. That's five, Eric. So you. Oh, that's six. Oh, you're starting a new one. Yeah. I got one. I yeah. got one. What? On that surge.
I hope we got some females for the eggs. I see that, something bit him. Oh, not easy. That's a big one. All right, good job. That's number 11. That is a big fish. Okay. There's the sun. Nice. Yeah, that's a good one. What do you think? Put it back or keep it? That's kind of small. What do you think? That's a big one. It's down in that. I thought the last one. This one's down in that hole. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Geez. How many is this here? 21? Catch our last one? Sure. Sure. I think barely have enough strength to get it up. I'm weak. That's a good one for number 24, huh? Right, that's it. We're done. Taking 24 fish home, and it was wicked fun. I'm not strong enough to dip net, apparently. <laughs> yep, 24 is the number we came up with based on how much we want to eat, and a lot of it was actually based on our freezer space this year, so we've got another meat in the freezer right now. We're going to get these fish, or Eric's going to get these fish up the hill. We're going to get them gutted and back to the cabin, and that's where we'll see you. Here we go. Okay, now it's time to get to work, right? Okay, I'm going to check on the dog, get the backpack. Okay, what I was thinking to do is let's bring us anything we can bring up there now, or I can just bring up. I'm going to lose my life vest and my jacket, and I'm going to bring the backpack down, and then I can do all this stuff. Take your time. Beautiful weather. Top's the worst because you gotta go up that like four foot ledge, you gotta like crawl on your knees. Oh, that sounds lovely. So I was gonna take seven this time and then seven again. That should be 20, 24 fish. Cool. Okay, so that's five. <laughs> Another trip. Another one. You want salmon? You want the best? Climb up the hill.
We've made it back with all of our salmon. We're getting it vacuum sealed and it's all going in the freezer this year. And then we're gonna work on some spruce tip gravel ax. Super simple to make gravel axe. We've got one part salt, we have two parts sugar, and in this batch we have spruce tips, coriander, and some fennel tops. So what we're gonna do is layer a layer on the bottom. We'll put the fish in there, we'll put a nice thick layer on the top, then it's going in the fridge for a couple days. Well, this is very exciting. Um, all that work has definitely paid off. We're super excited to have fresh fish. This is a dish that we like to make, or I mean, honestly, it's kind of like, we call it sushi, um, but it is gravlax. It's not completely raw fish. And I don't think this is actually sushi. It's probably more Nigeria, we think. I think that's what it's called, yeah. So it's rice, the sticky rice with some um, seaweed and the real big chunk of fish on top of it. And this is like one of my favorite things. This is the reward from going out and doing all that hard work catching the salmon. We promise we're just gonna eat one on camera because we're just gonna like devour the rest. That's what we do every time, so. Okay, let's try it. You I want, want the big chunk. That one's yours. Please. See, I like just normal size. Oh no, he fell apart. I put here. a little extra wasabi on mine. A little dunk. Oh okay, no. Mine went all the way over. The rice is not cooperating. Good texture. Are you picking up on the spruce dust? Because I also had a piece of this by itself. Yeah. And it tastes a lot different like this. It's just like herby. We don't taste the spruce tips a lot? Yeah, like herby, like lemony. It's really good. This is absolutely delicious as always. You can detect the spruce tips in the fish or the gravlax alone. I can't really taste it when I actually eat it. Uh, mixed with the rice and everything else. I would love to absolutely try it like just fresh fresh uh, Maybe one day we'll give that a go. Eric and I have had a bout of what I believe was salmon poisoning So maybe a while till we do that again um, We're gonna we're gonna dig in. Yep. Awesome fishing trip. Awesome food. We'll see you next time Stupendous fishing trip. Yeah, okay. I'm going. Did you get too much wasabi and you're gonna do it again? I like the pain What's up with our rice, babe? It's, she's not she's not I'll She's not doing way. her job today. She's like falling apart on us. Do you think, I think maybe more sugar to make it more sticky. Mm. There's nobody in the road. Help. Okay, let's go fishing. Five miles an hour. No one's interested in that.